What's up guys? I'm back with a new tutorial. This time I'm going to do it in Pro Tools and we're going to look at how to set up Contact 5 um, with several instruments, routed out to different tracks in Pro Tools and everything through just one instance of Pro Tools. No, of uh, Contact 5. Alright, so let's get down to business. That's not cheesy at all, but let's see. Now I have that song in my head. Let's get down to business. I don't got no time to play around. What is this? Must be a circus in town. Let's shut the shit down on these clowns. All right, so mm, this here is what you'll see. Uh, maybe not with the output section, but this is very important for what we're going to do. And you can see that these auxes uh, here, one, two, three, and four, they cannot be deleted. They are just by default always there you can't even choose them uh, but they are very useful too because you can route you can put effects on here uh, like reverbs and, and whatever there's actually a very good um, reverb in here convolution reverb so that's pretty cool you can load your uh, your uh, impulse responses into it and stuff it's pretty nice but enough about that you can't delete those um, but you'll have one stereo output uh, unless you've made uh, um, a batch configuration here like save current output section state as default for all formats we're gonna do that afterwards but anyways this is probably what you're gonna see when you uh, open up contact and the first thing we need is to get some something going on in here and I'm looking for the studio drummer I want to put that on the first track. I love Studio Drummer. But I'm not going to spend much time trying to write beautiful melodies and, and stuff. I'm just going to uh, get, <laughs> get down to business, basically, and uh, see what we can do. OK, so first of all, we need to make sure that we have sound. And we do. Sweet. Okay, so now we have sound, and you can see that this instrument here, I'm just gonna close down the kit, uh, is going out to stereo one, this track here, and it's receiving MIDI from MIDI channel one. And this channel, stereo one, is sending out to uh, one and two, to stereo channel one and two. And that channel, is receiving here it says no input but that's just because this is the initial instrument channel now let's say that you want a bass or something in here let's go find something let's go find a bass or actually just use the cello ensemble i like that yep and we want to send this to a new track in here, but there's no tracks yet, so we have to add one. And we want one channel, we want it to be a stereo. Put this to one, it's going to be a mono. And we want that to go out to... Okay, this is a little weird, but that's just because I haven't made my... You see, this is stereo one left, this is stereo one right. So let's see what happens if we send it here. Sending outputs. Yeah, and that's three and four. So that's good. Let's just send this down to stereo two right away, like that. And create. And make sure that you get these collaborating with each other. So that stereo two is going out to the second channel here and that it's also like if it's going out to stereo 2 make sure that you send it to midi channel 2 it's just a lot more organized and, and uh, it, it pays off okay so what we need to do next now is to create a new stereo instrument channel like that and we want this this is the midi uh, controls or whatever 
we want this track to send MIDI channel MIDI information to MIDI channel 2 of contact. So now this track is sending MIDI information in here to the MIDI channel. The MIDI channel sends into the instrument and inside the instrument it turns into audio that is being sent out to stereo 2 and stereo 2 is sending out to uh, uh, 3 and 4. So that means we want this channel to receive from 3 and 4 in contact which is this channel here. Contact aux1 I believe. I believe it could be that we have yeah, we're probably gonna have to restart contact no uh, Pro Tools to make this work. So let's just let's just do that right now. Um, because yeah, when when you make changes in contact, you have to restart Pro Tools to make this work. So let's just do that. Quit Pro Tools. Yes, save. Now and I have a weird problem with my uh, Pro Tools that I just can't seem to figure out. But if anybody knows how to fix this please let me know because I've tried a lot of things. Cheers, by the way. See? And that's not true. It's even a Avid sound card I'm using. So that's very frustrating. But I found a fix and you just have to put it to the built-in output. Okay. And then open your session again. Now it's going to work. No. And then we just have to change it back to the Mbox Mini. It's very annoying, but that's the only thing I could figure out that actually works. So sorry about that. But here we go. Now, Pro Tools should recognize the other track which it doesn't then let's hope that this is right then okay let's see if it actually makes any sound here now let's turn this into note view let's make it jumbo and yeah those are good I'm just gonna put in a C and we have sound, so that's good. It's promising. And a D, and maybe just a, an E too. So let's see what we got. Oh yeah. So that worked fine. And that is how you route your channels. Now, obviously, you can make more channels like this and let's say you want to have uh, eight channels at the ready for you and you can put this to aux 2 1 and ascending output assignment and it's going to take care of everything uh yes see three and four five and six seven eight nine ten and then nine ten nine ten nine ten again because uh it doesn't recognize that it has more channels but uh, if you do this now save output sec output section save current output section state as default for all formats now every time you open contact this output um, configuration will be your default so let's save this now press this button to kind of um, yeah, to just it kind of reboots contact. It it uh, reads through everything and no now it knows that everything has been changed here. Okay, now let's quit Pro Tools again. Uh, yeah, save. And then we obviously have to change our yeah. But sorry, it's really warm today. Oh man, I hope this video doesn't overstep its boundaries of 10 minutes. Playback Engine. 
we have to change it here output yep okay try again no and then we have to change it back to the inbox mini yes okay fine now please work okay cool so let's open here and see we can yeah now it's on we can change this to stereo Stereo 5, 9 and 10, Stereo 6, 11, 12. See, now everything in here changed too. And that is cool. See, now he tells you about that. But anyways, now you have all these channels and they're working too. Now all you need to do, I can think I might be able to uh, yeah, let's just use the sync and copy the thing. Analog machines, catch a cooker base, cool. Send this one to number three. Make a channel three, that's good. We make a new <coughs> instrument stereo channel. It's gonna send its mini to channel three. Receive from channel three and built-in output that's cool and let's change this back to clips and copy this down and we should have so that is how you do that uh, but anyways thanks for watching hope you liked comment share like check out my homepage if you want to see you later